<laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to T to Java TV, bringing you nothing but the T to Java in under five. We're going to start off with our segment with letters from you guys, letters from the people who send us emails and letters and just call us and say, hey, I have a question. And this is one of our um, listen, our like, subscribers, you people, the subscribers, the people who count, the people who matter to me the most. You send me an email. I don't want to say your name, but I love you. You sent an email and you said, so, let me make sure I have it right. How do you tell if someone you're dating is ready to date exclusively? Okay. So, first thing first. Communication and asking them is the best way. If you have this one love and this one truth, you know when it's when you're ready. Now, civilization has taught us to place different labels and titles on different things that we do daily. But I, I like what one thing that Oprah said one time. She said, go outside, go somewhere, go in a closet, go anywhere, and just sit, close your eyes, open your ears, open your senses, and feel everything around you. Feel it. Feel it. Don't label it. Just feel it. Then once you start doing that several times, you'll see different things clearly when you open your eyes. You'll see that structure that looks like a TV, the different mechanics, the different pieces of it that makes it a TV is mind-blowing. You start applying that to your natural life. The people that you come in contact with, you start looking at them and visualizing them and seeing them as who they are. And seeing them as a person that, I really want to know you. I really want to be, you know, talk to you. And hopefully they do the same thing by the way that you present yourself. And it's a very easy transition because you'll eventually leave people alone besides them and they'll eventually leave people alone besides them and it's like that spiritual oneness will come over you guys now granted we label stuff and to give you a good answer that without all the hoopla and love and oneness and stuff like that if you're dating someone the typical thing is that you guys are getting to know each other and you're saying that you're dating because you guys are talking and going out and doing stuff together but you're doing that with other people if you sit down with them and you say hey I'm now feeling differently towards you I feel that I don't want no one but you I feel that we should date exclusively express this thing because at this point in time you're being open you're giving yourself when you give yourself to someone you basically give them your heart, your soul, mind, body, you're being open with them, it's a oneness, if they are accepting of that, and they say they're agreeing to it, that's usually how it happens, now, due to the fact that we have different problems in our mind about cheating and promiscuousness and all this, that, and the stuff, the other, that it gets cloudedness, and it hurts when we try to give, we try to open up, we try to have that oneness, that one understanding, and we don't do it due to the fact of what we have in our head. I say that when you are ready to get rid of different things and problems that you have in your head, then that's when you're ready to be in an exclusive relationship. If you're not, then you can't let the beat rock, you can't let the boat sink, you can't let the boat sail, you can't do nothing, <laughs> you can't do anything, love, love. seriously, so I say to the, to you that wrote in, love, love, openly say it, that you're ready to do it, and that's when you both are ready to go into an exclusive relationship, that's when you both will be ready to be in an actual relationship, because dating exclusively in a relationship is two different things. Until next time.